The following video may contain content and or language which may be considered unsuitable for younger audiences. Viewer discretion is advised. TUDCH Entertainment Inc. presents TUDCH's Funny Signs Merry Christmas, you filthy animal! Hello, folks! It's Christmas time! Let's get this sign reading session started. But before we get this session started, we've got some guests coming to our Funny Signs Christmas party. Oh yeah. I almost forgot there's guests coming too. Yep. That must be the guests. I'll get it. Snow is falling all around me. Children playing, having fun. It's the season of love and understanding. Merry Christmas, everyone. Shaken Stevens, 1985. It's Christmas! I heard Tootie was doing a f new Funny Science Christmas special, so I thought of joining the gang. I also decided to come along, since I am Kiyomi's older sister. Same with me, even though I am not related to Kiyomi nor Yukari, I'm actually Walt Disney's great-great-granddaughter. Wait, what? What I'm saying is not a joke. They've had some singers. Jacob Furrier told me all about it. True. Now, without further ado, let's get cracking with the Christmas special of Funny Signs! Merry Christmas, that lucky animal. Sam, what the fuck? You need to wash your hands, Mike. You need to wash your hands too. But you can't tell me what to do, I am the goddamn Microsoft Sam. Sam, on Christmas, we shall not insult each other. Oh no! Behead, I do not want to end up on the naughty list! If you want to be on the good list, I suggest you behave like a good boy! Me no dog. We can smell the eggnog on your breath. Do not make any scenes. No need to worry at all. I can drink some eggnog with my Anna without making any scenes. That's our Sam. I wonder what else is happening at the Christmas party. That's what I was thinking too, Mike. If you guys didn't know, Tootie said she's hosting a slumber party here as well. It's true. We're also gonna have Christmas dinner tomorrow, since it is Christmas Day as well. Pocus. Thank goodness we brought our Christmas pajamas here. Same with me and Riff Raff. To be honest, this Christmas will definitely be awesome. To be honest, I would have to agree. Same. What's, What's the, the next, next Christmas, Christmas sign? sign? Here comes Amazon. Here comes Amazon. Right down my driveway. What if Amazon Alexa sang that? Or to know. Hey Alexa, have you been a good girl or a bad girl this year? I promise you that I have been a good girl this year. Good girl. I'm not a dog. I bet all pets, including dogs, are going to get some nice toys and treats for Christmas. That's true, bro. Who's up for spending some time at our sign request park? To be honest, count me in. Don't, Don't forget, forget about, about us. us. Of course we, we won't forget, forget you lot! Welcome to our Christmas land of sign requests. Since it's the time of year, we're gonna look at Christmas signs to get you all into the festive spirits of Christmas. May I read a sign request from anyone, please? Of course, Sira. Here's our first sign request. Can I refill your eggnog? Get you something to eat. Drive you out to the middle of nowhere and leave you for dead? What the hell? Ah, uh, next sign please. Dear Santa, it's a long story. What kind of long story are they talking about? They're talking about why the Grinch stole Christmas. It's actually talking about why someone was naughty for this year. Wonder what they got on the naughty list. Does it look like we know? No, we do not. Hey guys, do you all remember LT Parodies 239? Do not make us go back there, please. 
All right, sheesh. Do we seriously have to repeat ourselves for like what, the 900th time in a row? If you don't want to say it, then you don't have to. It's probably getting used too much anyway. Oh well, I'm gonna say it anyway because just for the best of it. Shush the house, living 8005882300 Empire today, sheesh! 800-588-2300 Empire Today. Don't get your tinsel in a tangle. Guess I should wear a tinsel scarf or get a new brand of shampoo. Hey Harry, how do I look in my tinsel scarf? You look so spectacular, Tootie. <laughs> oh, Harry. I also got a tinsel scarf too. I bet it looks funky on me. It sure does, sis. Dear Santa, leave puppy, take sister. I would probably bring the puppy along to be fair. Yeah. You can also bring in the kittens too for Christmas. OMG, I love kittens so much. Yes. Same here big ass time. Dasher, Dancer, Prancer, Vixen, Moscato, Vodka, Tequila and Blitzen. Well. Duh. 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 Welcome to the club, Carly. Thanks. If vodka and tequila were the names of Christmas reindeers, what would they even do? They might get drunk! <laughs> Merry Christmas from Ohio. That's what Ohio State gets for beating our butt this year in football. Ha 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 I don't get it. DJ is still not over Michigan State's loss to Ohio State in college football, Kevy. I'm more of a NASCAR fan myself. Anyways, next sign. All I want for Christmas is for someone else to cook. Speaking of cooking, who's gonna cook the Christmas dinner? I do know. No need to worry, all of you. Rafael Shiroban and I are gonna do the Christmas dinner cooking this year. Thank goodness we have two people cooking this time. Yeah, it's gonna be easier when we help each other cook at this time of year. Two people cooking? Interesting! It does sound quite interesting, even if it's in the studio, restaurant, or any place. Yeah! You'll shoot your eye out. The good news is that Ralphie did not shoot his eyes out. However, the bad news is that he busted his glasses. God damn it, Wegra! Well, that's all the signs we saw at our trip to the Christmas land of sign requests. Thank you all for visiting this Christmas Eve, and we will see you next time. We surely had a fun time at the Christmas land of sign requests, right? To be honest, I do have to agree with you, Timothy. Should we continue to read some more signs, and then we can get ready for Christmas Day? Of course, Tootie! This Christmas is gonna be spectacular. Christmas trees! Fresh. We cut our own. Christmas. <laughs> I seriously lost so many brain cells after seeing the little sign. Hey, does anyone like my Christmas look? I like it. It reminds me of those Animal Crossing Christmas outfits. I took inspiration from Animal Crossing New Horizons, that's why. The first Christmas was pretty simple. It's okay if yours is two this year. To be honest, Christmas two years ago wasn't that bad. Even though we ended up dealing with that virus back then. At least Christmas this year is simple again. In that case, I do have to agree. For me, this Christmas will be harder due to inflation and high ass rising prices. Why don't you just get something cheaper? Now that you think about it, that's a good idea. Jolliest bunch of assholes this side of the mud house. Who are you calling an asshole? I was not using that word for an insult, thank you. Sorry, Sam. Who wants cashews or walnuts? All except for me. I'm opening up a dental office nearby. And a few good sweet tooth ready to be screwed by a screwdriver. For me, you are not a dentist. Please go back to making toys like the other elves. Damn it. Now playing Home Alone. One of the best Christmas movies I've ever heard of, where Kevin McAllister, played by Macaulay Culkin, is accidentally left behind when the family leaves for France. He is delighted to keep the house in charge at first, but when two thieves come along, he puts up a fight. I still remember that movie very well. Same. It's a movie time. 
What movie would you love to watch at this time of year? To be honest, I'm thinking Home Alone and Home Alone 2, Lost in New York. For me, it's How the Grinch Stole Christmas. I don't know. Only I didn't say fudge. I said the word. The big one. The queen mother of all dirty words. Yes, yes, a Christmas story. We can watch that one right now, because it's the most hilarious movie in the history of Christmas movies, maybe ever. TBS and TNT air this movie every Christmas season. You know, I love to watch romantic Christmas movies with Gaif, like The Family Man. Oh, Rhonda, can't you wait until this video is over? Sorry, Gaif, I just cannot resist the temptation. It's okay, Rhonda. How do you all like me and Harry's Christmas pajamas? You two look so festive in those gym jams. I'm glad you like them. Don't forget about me, you too. To be honest, you look cool in these pajamas, Timothy. I agree with Astra right here. Everybody here looks so Christmassy in their looks for this holiday season. Thanks, Astro. You're welcome. Hey, Alexa, can you make some hot chocolate with marshmallows for us, please? Of course I can. Danny, I will be right back. I am making some hot chocolate for everyone. Oh, wow. I am so excited. Say with me, Katrina. I do have to agree, although I will be spending time with my Jay tomorrow. And I'll be spending time with my hubby Gabe. I suggest saving some hot chocolates for Gabe and Jay. Good idea. Make extra two hot chocolates with marshmallows for both, please. Okay. Two hours later. <laughs> What time is it? It's half past ten in the night, so I think we should prepare ourselves for Santa to arrive in town. Oh hell yeah, baby! <sighs> I still remember making this episode a few years ago. I remember that, Dave. Okay, y'all. It's about time we should get ready for bed. Tomorrow, Santa's coming to town. Tootie's right, guys. Otherwise, Santa wouldn't come. Uh, give me a few minutes, Tootie. I gotta set up the Christmas cake's finishing touches. Don't take too long, though. Santa is gonna come around in like a few hours from now, and if he sees us awake, then there goes our presents until next year. Alright. A few minutes later. Okay, I'm done. Ah, uh, yes, time for me to go to sleep and see what Santa has to offer us this Christmas of 2022. Yeah, anyways, good night, folks. Ho, ho, ho! Merry Christmas, everyone! Let's hope there is milk, cookies, mince pie, and carrots for me and the reindeers. I'm modestly hungry for some carrots, Mr. Claus. Me too. Don't worry, you two. I gotta deliver the gifts first before we dig in on our snack. Aww, but I'm hungry. Can we eat the cookies now? Tough cookies. Gifts first, food later. Okay, fine. Okay. Don't take too long, and be careful. No need to worry, I won't. There we go. All the presents are under the tree, and I have gotten the snacks as well. Thanks for the snacks, Santa. No problem, Dasher. Off we go to the next building. I love my Christmas cookies! A few hours later. <laughs> Hello, folks. Guess what? What is it, Tootie? It's Christmas Day! Yeah, the day has finally arrived. It's time for Christmas Day. Hello, I. Christmas time is here. Everyone wake the fuck up. Christmas time is here. It is. I really won't. Yorkshire puddings. Checked. Pigs in blankets. Checked. Let me have it. They have hot dog. <laughs> I'm okay. Roast potatoes. Checked. Christmas puddings, cake, gingerbread cookies, and all that other Christmas related beefs. Check, 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 and check. Wake up, sons of fuckers.
Christmas Day 2022 has officially arrived. Who's hyped to open the presents Santa offered us? Let's go and open those banger presents. Let's go. At least we got all the stuff they need now. Yeah. Merry Christmas, everyone. The presents are in the lounge, and Santa has eaten the snacks we put out for him. Nice. I uh, know, right? Let's get this party started! Woohoo! And not to mention, we won't have any evil beings here, since my evil twin is still imprisoned for trying to invade Burkharsha. I still remember that, but at least your evil doppelganger is in jail now. Yeah. Never mind that. Let's open some of our gifts. Wowzers! It's a chocolate milk plushie! I absolutely love it! Not to forget, I also got you a gift, Tutti. Open it and see. Okay. <gasps> a necklace that has my name on it! Thank you so much, Harry! I love you so much! I love you too, my sweetheart Tutti. How romantic! I know, right? Speaking of kisses, guess what just showed up? What is it, babe? Oh look, a mistletoe. You know what this means? I love you so much, Mike. I love you too, Mary. It's a mistletoe, Scotty. You know what to do, Eula. Merry friggin' Christmas, baby! And happy birthday! Who the heck is their birthday on Christmas? Anyone who's born on December 25th. A specific person who was also born on Christmas Day is actually Noel Christie. What? And also me. I'm born on Christmas. A Christmas birthday that I'm having. I thought your birthday was in June. But thanks for reminding me about your real birthday. Anyways, Merry Birthday, Beulah. Thanks, Tootie. Huh? Anything wrong? You know, I was really gonna have my boyfriend with me this Christmas to share a kiss under this holly jolly festive mistletoe, but I'm afraid that's not happening this year. What happened to your boyfriend? Did something go wrong in your relationship? Things I'd rather keep undisclosed. It's Christmas time. This ain't no time for having your eyes filled to the brim with too many tears, though. Do you want some peppermint maca to make you feel better under the mistletoe? I guess. Thank you, Tootie. No problem. I don't blame you, Emily. I am still waiting for Xena the Bouncy Zeti and Ashley Burns to come. Time for our annual mistletoe kiss, Terry. Let's do it. Okay, then. Oh, that is so cute. We know, we know. Kissing couples are indeed cute, but you know what's even cuter? These Christmas ornaments, they're so fucking cocky, I want to die of Christmas cuteness. <laughs> are you okay, Harry? Looks like he had the usual major mind blow. But this is actually for a good reason. For the fact he squealed at those adorable looking Christmas ornaments. Wait, hold on. I see another present under the tree, and it looks like a female on a bouncy hopper. DJ, let us out. Get us out of here. Okay. Hold still, girls. I will get you out. Later, after DJ helped Ashley Burns and Xena the Bouncy Zetai and their bouncy hopper out of the wrapping paper, and Robosoft 3, don't even think of kicking me out, because it's Christmas, you naughty robot. Sheesh. On the first day of Christmas, Robosoft 3 gave to me a reason to say shush the sheesh. My god. This pudding tastes delicious. Oh, wait, what? Whoa! Hee <laughs> hee. Clarence, you didn't need to grab me that hard. If getting all excited to do a mistletoe session is illegal, then call me guilty. Fine, you're guilty, and heck a romantic this Christmas. Wait, wait for, for us, for us you smoochy smoochy. Smoochies. We love you so much, DJ Launchpad, our bouncy boy. Yeah, what Ashley Burns said. And I love my two girlfriends more. 
It's a polyamorous relationship, y'all. Ship, 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 ship. Oh, look, a mistletoe. You know where this is going, Kenny? I know. Let us do it, Clark Arama. Clark Arama? B O I, boy. Did you know that Christmas is truthfully about Jesus Christ? Cool. The same church. Hey, Christmas is about God, Sam. Did you know that on December the 25th, when Jesus Christ was born? That's what Christmas is truly about. Not just about Santa Claus and opening presents. Well, I never knew that. I'm mostly focused on Santa Claus and Christmas trees, Christmas cookies, spending time with people, Christmas music, etc. How could How Sam could not Sam know, that? know that? He has literally he has believed, believed in me throughout the entire Blooper slash parody generation, and I only had to scold him twice. twice. Well, that and also, I am approximately 22 years old in Microsoft years, which is way older than you think. But, I am sorry I forgot God. It's alright Sam, right, Sam, no matter how many times, times my people mess up or sin against, against, me, against me, I will always love, love them. Speaking, Speaking of which, of which there's, there's a news bulletin that, that is about to come, to come telling you all my Christmas, Christmas presents, presents to you. To you. Merry Christmas to all watching 41 Action News. Our top story today, God Almighty has blessed Wales and you Rafa City with an exciting gift that reminds us all of the reason for the season. Our intrepid leader of 41 Action News, Taylor Branford, is live in Cardiff at the scene. Thanks, generic. I am standing here at a landmark that was established in Bethlehem, Jerusalem, Israel, that soon spread through all Dave Madsen, that text-to-speech multiverses locations. The Bethlehem Motel, God Almighty's most holy hotel, has recently opened up. The first location is where I am standing, near the QDCH Entertainment Inc. building in Cardiff, Wales. Our minister says that Lanfair P W L L Gwinjil, Go Jiri Swords Rob W L L L and Tazilio Go Go Got also opened up a Bethlehem Hotel, marking two locations. A sign that a present of God's love, from heaven above, is slowly spreading throughout the world. This is 41 Action News, with Taylor Branford reporting this Christmas. She's supposed to take a day off from the news. It's Christmas, for fuck's sake. Even people need to work on Christmas. Yes, even Easter. They need to support their family. Looks like Sam doesn't know the meaning of working from home. Hey, Cootie, can the Microsoft gang open up their presents now? Oops. I forgot that you guys had to, and I made this freaking video. What the fuck? <laughs> hey, sussy baka. You know what happens when you break the fourth wall? Oh, hell nah. Don't tell me I just made the damn list, you cheeky monkey. You just made the list. Oh, well. Merry Christmas, everyone. Just because it's Christmas, it doesn't give you the right to not cease the sus. Before we go, let's see how everyone's least favorite infernal, Evil Duty, spends her Christmas. Boy, Jazzy, you do know it's December 25th, right? Oh, that's right. Evil Duty has been bugging me to open her Christmas present. What is it, freaking Jazz Wipe? You have a Christmas present, Evil Duty. Wow, for me? It's time to open my Christmas present. I bet it's the soul for my master. Coal? A fucking bucket of coal for Christmas? <laughs> That's what you get for being naughty, you will kill me. I want my fucking mommy! For that potty mouth of yours, you're gonna get scrubbed clean inside of that. Curse! Ow. Merry Christmas, yeah, filthy animal, and a happy new year! And that quote is from Home Alone 2, Lost in New York. 
Merry Christmas to all, from 2TCH Entertainment Inc. And to those who were born on Christmas, happy Earth Day. Holy fucking shit, my present testicles. I must fucking eat it right fucking nom 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 And to bring out the end credits, Merry Christmas. Or should I say, Microsoft Merry Christmas. This has been a 2DCH Entertainment Inc. production.